I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on Rolle's Theorem application. The question here is, a cubic polynomial f of x has roots at x equals to 4 and x equals to 1, multiplicity 2. That means order is 2. Root of derivative will exist at which of the following? We are given four choices. You can always pause the video answer the question and then look into my suggestions so we are given the function f of x which has two roots one is at x equals to 4 that means the factor should be x minus 4 correct and at x equals to 1 so the factor is x minus 1 multiplicity 2 means this is to the power of 2 so that is what it means so that is your first statement the second one here is root of derivative so we need to find the derivative and root means equated to zero so i hope you get the concept so basically we need to find the derivative which is f dash x and root means that is equal to zero will exist at which of the following so that becomes the question clear now you can actually pause the video and answer the question so so what we get here is f dash x equals two we can apply the product rule. Derivative of this is just 1. So we get x minus 1 whole square plus derivative of this will be 2 times x minus 1 times this, which is x minus 4, right? Now, we can take x minus 1 common. So we get x minus 1 plus 2 times x minus 4. Open this up. So each side part only we are going to open. So we get x minus 1 plus 2x minus 8. That gives you x minus 1 times uh, 2x plus x is 3x. Okay. And minus 1 minus 8 is minus 9. Now, so that is the derivative. So we really want to figure out the root. So root of the derivative is what? So when we say root of derivative. It really means that f dash x equals to 0. That means x minus 1 and 3x minus 9. Is it okay? So one of the root clearly is at x equals to 1. And the other one is at x equals to 9 over 3, which is 3. So the correct option is D for us. Is that clear? Now, a question for you is, how is it related with Rolle's theorem? Now, in Rolle's theorem, we actually learn that this is a polynomial function. So, let's give reference to Rolle's theorem, right? So, that's an important part of our learning and uh, understanding. So, what we understand here is that the, the value of the function at 4 is equal to value of the function at 1, right? Both are 0. That means there is a value c exists where the derivative is 0, in between, in the interval from 1 to 4. So we're looking for a value, I should say, in the open interval between 1 to 4, right? It has to be 0. So that's the Rolle's theorem. And in one of our formulas, if we have a value like x minus a to the power of m times x minus b to the power of n, then that value of c for which it is 0 is basically equal to m times b plus n times a divided by m plus n, right? So that is the answer, correct? So if you, so I'll provide a link for this. If you know this, then we could have found the point C very easily here. So what we're trying to say here is that this is 1, right? So the answer is 1 times 1 plus 2 times 4, right? Plus 2 times 4 divided by 1 plus 2. So it is a section formula. This is division of line segment, right? in a given ratio, which is 1 is to 2, right? So in the ratio, in this case, 1 is to 2, which are the powers. In this case, it will be this particular ratio, m is to n. 
you get the idea right so so if you calculate this you get 1 plus 8 over 3 which is 3 so without doing any calculations we can immediately get to our solution right so since this is a double zero, we know it is a turning point, right? So let me just sketch this function also, just to help you understand. We'll assume this is positive coefficient, right? So, so we have a zero at one, zero at four, this is the turning point. So the parabola comes from this, uh, I mean, the cubic function will be kind of like this. Is it okay? So that is how we are going to graph it. So this zero, we wanted to find derivative, right, c. So we found this point c is in between one and four, and its value is equal to three, it is closer to four. You get the idea. It is not in the midway. What I'm trying to say is that this is the wrong answer too, right? So it is not in the midway. It is more shifted towards this particular point. Does make sense to you? So that is how we could actually get solution to such questions. I hope that helps. Uh, now, based on this, we have a question for you. So let me share that question and apply this uh, section formula to answer. I hope you will uh, appreciate what we're trying to do then. 